there's only one value of x in this question. Now suppose x here is a real number that satisfies this equation x squared minus x minus 1000 multiplied by square root of 1 plus 8000 x equals 1000. Then our goal in this question is to solve for the value of x. Pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, given this equation, x squared minus x minus 1,000 multiplied by square root of 1 plus 8,000 x equals 1,000, wherein x is a real number, then our goal is to find the values of x. And we know there are two values, real values of x in this equation. Now, how are we going to answer this kind of question? Here is one of the hints. Look at this 1,000 on the right side and on the left-hand side of our equation. So now, what we're going to do here is to rearrange some terms a little bit, like this. And let's factor out this common term, 1,000. And if we do that, we get on the right-hand side, 1,000 multiplied by the quantity 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8,000x. Now, another technique to answer this question is to use substitution. So let this expression be equal to y. So our original equation becomes x squared minus x equals 1,000 multiplied by y. Now, let's set aside these two equations. So we have two equations consisting of x and y. And let's focus on this equation, y equals 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8,000x. So what we're going to do here is to manipulate this. So let's subtract 1 on both sides. And from here, let's eliminate this square root. So let's square on both sides. So this will give us y minus 1 raised to the power of 2 equals 1 plus 8,000x. And if we expand this, y minus 1 raised to the power of 2, this will give us y squared minus 2y plus 1. And if we subtract 1 on both sides, we eliminate this positive 1 on the right and positive 1 on the left side of our equation. So we have y squared minus 2y equals 8,000x. Now, let's focus on this result. Now, this is almost similar, almost similar to our first equation, x squared minus x equals 1,000y. So we have y squared, we have x squared, negative 2y, we have negative x, and 8,000 and 1,000. So let's manipulate this equation and until it looks like x squared minus x equals 1,000y. So first, what we're going to do is to divide this equation by 4. Why we do that? Because 4 is just 2 squared. And y squared over 2 squared, we can rewrite this as y over 2 raised to the power of 2. So this is now our x squared. Next. 2 divided by 4, this is just 1 over 2. So this is just y over 2. We have y over 2 right over here. And we have y over 2 squared. And we have y over 2. Same thing as x squared minus x. And now, let's continue. 8,000 divided by 4 is just 2,000. So 2,000x. Now let's compare these two equations. So the only difference is we have here 2,000 x and we have here 1000 so to make it 2000 this 1000 let's multiply this by 2 over 2 now if we do that we get 2000 multiply by y over 2 now let's compare these two equations seeing these equations we can say or we can say that the relationship of x and the y is just x equals y over 2 now if we replace this x with y over 2, it looks something like this equation. So they are now identical. So the relationship between x and y is x equals y over 2. Now, we will use this concept, this result, to answer this equation, of course. So let's focus on this result, x equals y over 2 and y equals 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8,000x. Now, you can... Watch again this video to fully understand the concept that I use to answer this question. Alright, but for now, x equals y over 2, it follows that 2x equals y. Now, we have here the value of y and we also have here value of y. So, we can replace this y 
we do x. And now, subtract 1 on both sides. And then square on both sides to eliminate the square root. So our resulting equations becomes 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 1 plus 8,000x. And subtract 1 on both sides to eliminate this one. So we have here 4x squared minus 4x equals 8,000x. And now, finally, to solve for the value of x, let's focus on this equation. And all of this coefficient is divisible by 4, so why not divide all of this term by 4? So x squared minus x equals 2,000x. Now at this point, we can now solve for the values of x. So let's subtract 2,000 on both sides. So x squared minus 2,001x equals 0. And since we have a common factor of x, so why not factor out x to this? So have x multiplied by x minus 2,001 equals 0. Now let's focus on this result. Since it is equal to 0, at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that x equals 0 or x minus 2001 equals 0. It follows that x equals 0 or x equals 2001. And now at this point, we found two values for x. But in our hint, we have only one real values for x. Now let's go back to our original equation. So we have x squared minus x minus 1,000 multiplied by 1 square root of 1 plus 8,000x equals 1,000. Now, if we let x equal 0, so x squared becomes 0, negative x becomes 0, 8,000 times x becomes 0, and we'll end up the left-hand side is negative 1,000. And negative 1,000 is not equal to positive 1,000. Therefore, x equals 0 cannot be part of our solution. Therefore, the only real value of x that satisfies this equation simply equal to x equals 2001. And this is our answer to this question. And as always, we are done.